Alright, Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. This is Hebrews 13 and 9. It says, Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, <clears throat> which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. You see, this thing of ours, man, this truth, you know, the Bible, it's not about um, going extremely deep. You can know thousands of scriptures, you know, but if you're not applying them, then it really makes no no difference, you know. Uh, we're not trying to be super Mr. Breakdowners, you know. That's not what this thing is about, you know. From from experience, I can tell you that you know, like the Lord don't require none of that. And a lot of the things that brothers go into or people try to go into don't really profit them at the end of the day. Because it's like, okay, for example, genealogy. Knowing everybody's history in, in the genealogy according to the Bible. That don't really mean nothing. Knowing what tribe Methuselah is, Methuselah is from. You know, like that don't, that's not, people not going to walk up to you while you at camp and ask you these type of questions. You know? And if they did, you should just revert back to the scripture. Where is that going to profit you? Where is that going to get you, man? You know? You see, the thing is that God's coming to this truth, you know, they learned up under the apostles who have been in this thing for over 30 years, you know, they put their time in to this. So guys come in three years in or however long these guys be and they want to think that they're on the same level as the apostles. Um, uh, Wisdom-wise, knowledge-wise, you know, understanding-wise, the things that the apostles done went through you guys can't even compare it to that, man. This ain't the time to be trying to go into making new doctrines, you know? Or, or trying to understand. Don't get me wrong, man. You know, it, it, knowing the scriptures is a great thing. But for example, like Ruth, knowing, what, knowing whether she was a, a Israelite or... A Moabite, it's not going to profit you, man. You know? That's not going to get you nowhere. The Lord is not going to beam you up onto the chariot and say, hey, man, you're up on this chariot because you found out that Ruth was a Moabite or, or, or Israelite. That, that doesn't get you anywhere, man. It says, be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. You know? We, I'm going to just read this scripture. First Peter 2 and 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. You know? And Isaiah talks about precept upon precept. You know? But in the general, when you come into this thing, man, first and foremost, you should put Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah first, man. Your mindset should be trying to get closer and do what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah wants from you. That should be in your mindset when you're coming to this, man. And that is the good ground. And once you establish yourself on that ground, you know, the Lord, you're going to grow from that, man. If the, the the if you if you put Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah first, you know, and you try to be a man of the Lord, the Lord is gonna open up your mind 
to what you need to do, man, in order to grow, man. But a lot of these guys, they're unsincere, you know. So when it comes to growing from off the milk, off of the milk, man, they not trying to, they not growing, man. They stagnant water, you know. And and like I said, they want to make a name for themselves. They want to uh, compete with other people, man. Tell people to do things that's not in the scriptures. You know, that they can't even explain. When, as I said before, Hebrews 13 and 9, it talks about it's a good thing to be, that your heart be established with grace. You know, the Lord going to open up your mind, you know, or, or, or put you on a path if you are of the elect to what you need to do. But a lot of these these guys, they come in, and they're not necessarily being fishers of men, you know. But that's one of the things that we should be, man. You 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 gotta you gotta fear, trust, love, keep the the keep the the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh because we aren't guaranteed to make it on these chariots, man. To get saved up out of this system, this society. You know? We trying to wipe away our past transgressions, man. From the Lord. And do what's required of us. So that's one of the reasons why you go out there and you basically do the work of the Lord, man. You study. And don't study to go and try to be the man. Because this, all this stuff is going to get burnt up on the side, man. And you don't want to be a part of that being burnt up, man. You know? A lot of these guys are overzealous. You know? And don't have no knowledge, man. Um, You see, the thing is, right? This is James 5 and 20. It says, Let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. You know? You're not just uh, hiding a multitude of sins from the other person, man. You're hiding a multitude of sins from yourself, man. And, 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 and one way how you're doing that is by doing what's required of you. Doing what's, what, what the Lord told you, man. The commandments. You know. Now, one thing how you can you can see what you what you pretty much have to do when you come into this is first Corinthians nine, and I'm gonna start at the sixteenth chapter. It says, For though I preach the gospel, right, gospel means good news. I have nothing to glory of, you know. This scripture is telling you basically what you're supposed to do, man. It says, even though we're speaking this good news, man, we don't have nothing to glory about this, man. We're not out here, okay, yeah, I know that we going this is going to happen with the kingdom. So, uh, yeah, I'm the man, man. You got to come to me for all the answers. No, man. That's not what this is about, man. It says, for necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Woe uh, is destruction. It says, for if I do this willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me, you know. And, and apparently those guys like IUIC or, or all these camps that want to take the, uh, the winner off, man. They, they feel as though that it's against their will to go out here and go do the commandments, man. They don't even believe in your how about some y'all side. You know? So you got to make sure that you're calling an election is sore. It says, um, What is my reward then? Verily that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of your how without charge. That I abuse not my power in the gospel 
For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more, you know? And that's one of the reasons why you do the videos, you know, you go out there and you do the work, you know? You being a servant, man. You you basically teaching the truth, man. And whether people don't get it or, or or they do get it, man, we we showing love in the in the first place by even going out there and teaching, man. So that we can bring the people in who care, who who want to do the do the right thing, man. Because that's who we really care about, man. We don't care about these undesirables. Two thirds of our people are gonna die, man. They're gonna get destroyed, man. And if that don't put fear in people, people's hearts, you know, it's just not for them, man. It says, and it, it says that I might gain the more, right? It says, and unto the Jews, I became a Jew that I might gain the Jews, right? So it's like, for example, like, hey, man, like, you're going through the same stuff, man. When you go out there and you, you, you speak, man, you know? You going through the same stuff. We going through the same stuff, man. I can relate to you, man. You know? So you got to try to win these people's souls, man. With wisdom. With y'all by some y'all side, man. You know? One one way is like the curses, man. You explain to them what the curses, man. Because these people don't understand that, man. The, 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 you, you supposed to be a teacher of what's inside the scriptures, man. A foundation, man. Going into all these diverse and strange doctrines, these people don't come up, and they're not going to be asking them, them them crazy questions, man, unless they scoffers, man. But you gotta you gotta really the the, the foundation are the pearls, man. You gotta be careful not to cast those pearls before swine, man, because those people are just gonna trample over everything that you you do, everything that you say. It says, to them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. Right? You see, like like IUIC or these other camps that want to say that it's all about the law, man. You showed them that it's really not all about the law, man. You keeping faith in Yahweh by some you side, man. But then they want to say it's, it's all about, it's the law, the law, the law, you know. But then you showed them how, okay, well, you, you, you want to say, like, it's it's all about the law. Well, why can't we uh, stone homosexuals, man? So it all reverts back to your how about some y'all side, man. We can't keep the laws completely in this, law, this land. It says, to them that are without the law is without law, being not without law to the Most High, but under law to Yahweh Shai that I might gain them that are without law, right? So it's like, if somebody don't believe, or, or if somebody love eating uh, abominable foods, man, you can go into how abominable foods kill people, man, how it's dirty, how it's clean, uh, unclean, man, in order to try to win that person over for your how about some y'all side, man. And this is the wisdom the the understanding, man, that we should be trying to uh, attach ourselves to, man, not knowing who was uh, who you was in the, the past life, you know, or, or or what tribe Ruth was from, man. It says to the weak, I become I became became I as weak that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to men that I might be, I mean, by, that I might by all means save some, you know, and that's the main thing, man, we, we, we talking about the, the, the prophecies, because that's, that's one thing that we need to be occupied in too, man, occupied in the prophecies, man, because we need to tell our people what's really going on, you know, who the enemy is, you know, so that we can get up out of the society, man. And the closer we get to that number, the 144,000, is the closer that we'll be up out of this society, man. But the 144,000 are going to believe and have faith in Yahweh by some Yahweh side until they die. You know, even if they have to die, man. Because everybody isn't going to die. 
But with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the Shashir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work and truth and sincerity.